Hello, this is Krista from Motor Care Assistant bringing you another low budget video that's going to make your job a little easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an FMCSA portal account and how to add the appropriate roles. Let's start by talking about the portal. What is the portal? The portal is a site where you have access to your company safety data and also other FMCSA online services such as data queues. The portal also allows you to manage your user access to the company safety data by authorizing and revoking roles. Let's take a closer look. Once you log on, you'll be presented with several pods. Let me highlight a few. The available FMCSA system is going to list the systems that you have access to as an authorized by the company's official. Here on the right is the company's activity. Here you'll be able to search and list your records, for example, inspections and crashes. Here in the middle, you'll find your company's information. This is the registration information as found on the MCS 150 form. There's also a link to the form if you need to make any updates. At the bottom of this section, you will see a summary of your basic evaluation results. Click on the row to expand it. This gives you a quick view of your percentiles and alert statuses. If you'd like to see more detail, click on the link provided to be brought over to the Safety Management System, SMS page. Okay, so how do you get to the portal? This is the link to the portal. The link also is available in the video description below. Following that link, it's going to bring you to the logon page. The type of account you get depends on what your role is. There are two types of accounts. As a motor carrier, you're either going to have an company official account or a regular user account. If you're the company official, you're going to have an administrative role and you get to manage the regular user's accounts. To obtain this type of account, you're going to need the PIN, the personal identification number. The PIN was given when the USDOT number was first obtained. If you don't have the PIN, watch my video on how to retrieve the PIN. The link is in the video below. Let's take a look at what the company official needs to do to obtain an account. Let's start again from the logon page and click the link to register for a portal account. This starts a sort of wizard that is going to walk you through the steps. Step one, select the user type. In your case, the type is going to be the company employee and click on next. Step two, enter your USDOT number and click on lookup. The long message in the pop-up window basically says that the company official has not registered yet. The company official needs to create an account before anybody in the company can. Creating this account is what we're trying to do, so click OK. Enter the PIN and click on Validate PIN. If the pen checks out, the available roles box is going to show the only role available to you. If you need to retrieve or reset your pen, watch my video in the link below. Click on the role to select it. And click on add role. Now the role appears in the requested roles box. Enter a reason for request in this role, something like adding company officer or official. If you manage multiple USDOT numbers, click on add USDOT to the list. The USDOT number now appears in the USDOT number list box. 
We are done here. Click on Next. Moving on to step three, all fields except the middle name are required. Enter your personal information, select the security questions and answers, enter your user ID and password. A couple of things to highlight here. The user ID should be your email address. For the password, follow the rules listed here, but the one thing they don't tell you is that the password must be 12 characters long. Make sure you save the information. Click on Next. This brings us to step four. Enter the acquire information and click on Next. Lastly, in step five, read the rules of behavior and check all three boxes and click on Submit. The company official account has been created. So now, let's see what the regular user needs to do. Let's start back on the logon page. Locate and click on the link registered for portal account. In step one, select company employee and click on next. In step two, enter the USDOT number and click on lookup. Since the company's officials account has been created, the text message here is different. Not only it displays the name of the company, but also the name of the company's official. And it will let you know the company official will review your request and either approve it or deny it. Also, the available roles display all the roles available to you. Select the role that you need by clicking on it and click on Add Role. The role is now in the requested roles box. If you need to request more roles, just repeat the process. Select the role and click on add role. You will see the roles in the requested roles box. Now add the reason for the request and click on next. Steps three, four, and five are the same as for the company's official. Here in step three, enter your personal information here and click on next. In step four, enter your work information and click on next. In the last step, step five, read the rules of behavior and check all three check boxes and click on submit. The request is going to be sent to the company's official for review and he or she will either get to approve or deny it. If there are any issues with the accounts or the process, call the FMCSA Help Desk. Their menu has a few options. Choose option four for any portal related issues. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and set your alerts so you don't miss any of my videos.